I became an aunt more than about seven years ago and I held my baby niece when she was only like two hours old and I just kind of knew I wanted to provide my sister with some high quality images of her babies because they grow so fast and I just kind of took off from there. So I've been in business for about five years. I started with families and uh, children and eventually started doing newborns, which was kind of scary because they are so fragile and tiny and it is challenging, but when you get that pose just right, it's so rewarding. Um, and then I ventured into high school seniors. It is very scary to be an entrepreneur and not have, you know, like a supervisor training you. So I met a lot of entrepreneurs through the chamber and going to events in Green Bay and just kind of bouncing ideas off each other, how to market, because when you're an entrepreneur, you wear all hats. I mean, I don't just click a shutter button. I do everything myself. So um, it's a lot to learn, but it's so rewarding. I have um, done some nonprofit donations um, with photo sessions. I participated in the Front Porch Project, which is a nationwide initiative during quarantine. Um, to make families feel connected when they obviously couldn't physically be together. So I photographed more than 100 families in Green Bay, like literally three to five minute um, porch sessions. And that helped me donate a couple thousand dollars to Freedom House. I love what I do. <laughs> it's weird that I went to school for journalism, the written word, I love the written word, but sitting behind uh, a computer all day, all night, you know, it's it's not very rewarding, so um, photography gives me a chance to meet new people, um, connect with several businesses and nonprofits in our community. One of my goals would be to be like an up and coming, elite, full service photography studio. I want to be known for offering um, amazing print products and amazing service for my clients.